When, can I ask a question? <laughs> the usual. When ask. this was became available, this report? Um, I believe as of the first date on the, uh, yeah, on the top of the page, January 25th, 1990. There's no date. No, turn There's the page, a fax. Turn the page. The first sentence of oh, the page. Oh, uh, January 25, 1999. Yes. That was no. going to be my next area of questioning. No, I have not seen this. Before. Okay, and you had indicated earlier that it was your um, understanding, well, maybe that's not quite the word you said, but there was some discussion that there would be a report provided after the first year. Correct. Correct. Um, do you know if there was any report provided after the first year? Not to my le knowledge. Okay. I, as a co-investigator, okay, I expected something for me. I, as a matter of fact, I have asked the Dean Landisman for, for that. You know, I said I needed some information. Uh, all I knew it was going very well. Okay. So that was the verbal message I got. But you never saw a writing that tabulated any of the results of I, I have the not. study. Okay. It's first time. Okay. You said you asked Dean Landisman for some data. When did that? I asked him, how is it going? Do you have any reports? They said, no, but everything is going well. Okay. Do you remember when that was? When I was overseas. So sometime after? 1998. Were you told by Dean Landisman that a report would be coming when you asked for some information? <laughs> There was always talk about something coming out. And you smiled when when you said that. Is there? Is, I'm sorry. I, I was that something. Well, did you ask Dean Landisman for information more than once? I, there was always expectations of something to come out, especially during our uh, symposium in Monte Carlo. There was a, a CE, Continuing Education Symposium in Monte Carlo. I was invited to go there, and uh, there was actually uh, presentations during the conference. You know, so there was data, but there was nothing in concrete writing at that time. Okay. You mentioned that you asked Dean Landison for some information that there was always talk that something would, some written data would come out. Did you ask anybody else for written data besides Dean Landison? No. Okay. 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 Have you uh, reviewed what we've marked as Exhibit 3? Briefly. Okay. And the question that I asked you before we marked that exhibit was, do you have anything to add to your testimony with regard to um, the reports that was, were submitted and how that uh, fits with the with, – no, that's not the right question. Do you have anything to add to your testimony with regard to the report that was provided by USC to um, Sargon Enterprises, or any of the two reports you've got there? Uh, I'm, I'm totally appalled, actually. I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, I am as a co-investigator, and I'm just as a dentist that I seek information. I'm appalled of what I'm seeing right now. And the reason you're appalled is what? Well, a year ago, first time I see these documents, okay, I see here that this report, January 99, if I go to the, I'll give you one example, the last page, page 18, states, the statistical analysis of microbiological data is now, is not available now. Microbiological procedures are performed with no knowledge of clinical findings. Once all clinical measurements are available, statistical analysis can be completed. Microbiology is summary by Dr. Nazari. Okay, let me go to about 11 months later, or 10 months later. 
Ten months later, are you now going to the second one that I gave you? Uh, no, they go to the first one. It's the same thing. Well, this is, yeah, let's go to the first one. Which I was reading three. Okay, okay. you were exhibit three. Good. Yeah. The January. Let's go no, back. July. Yeah, let's report. go back now to January. I was reading Jan July. Okay. Now let's read January. Okay. January, bottom page nine. January, the bottom of page nine. Okay. Still says that this kind of analysis of microbiological data is not available now. Microbiological procedures are performed with no knowledge of clinical data. Once all clinical measurements are available, statistical analysis can be completed. Microbiology is summary reduction is inventory. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It, it, it's, 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 it's not okay. I've got to get down with you. Okay. He read so fast, I didn't understand What okay. he read was exactly at the bottom of that page. He wants to repeat it, though, I, for one, who is deeply interested in scientific knowledge and a co-investigator and who's been far away, I really want to know. What's the reason? Eleven months later, you're giving me the same paragraph. Okay? The paragraph that's saying that the statistical analysis of the microbiological right. data is not now available. Okay. So that's there in both reports? No, I'm just telling you, I mean, I really wanted, I was reading this to, to I didn't know that you have a number three report. Now, I have to tell you that I asked a question earlier and I, I, I looked for the answer from the results. The, the microbiological study was done only on 11 patients. Okay. That means 50% of the sample. Okay. I don't think it was done on 22. I'm not sure. Okay. But it has to be verified. If that's the case, this data was available now almost two years ago or three years ago. Okay. Okay. And if we say that microbiology immunology is so important to measure inflammation yes. as a chemical mediator, so I, for one, want to know was there inflammation after a week, two months, and six months? Now, if I look at this report, both reports, nowhere Nowhere in any description of any of the patients I have any data on the microbiological results. I've seen any data with regard to the yes. study yeah. regarding the microbiological I results. I saw it in, in, uh, in uh, Monte Carlo. Okay, when you say you saw it in Monte Carlo, was it in written form or was it? It was a presented. Okay, who presented that information? Dr. Nozari. Okay. V very good study, by the way and has positive results. So at Monte Carlo, can you give me a time when that occurred? April 98. Okay. So in April of 1998, you were aware that there was uh, favorable data regarding the micro... The, to be honest with you, I think this, the, the microbiological study was the research requirement of one of the graduate students from USC. Okay. And I, I'm not sure, but okay. I am pretty sure because I saw her. She was collecting the data. Okay. Uh, she's a Spanish doctor. Okay. And you saw her at USC collecting microbiome? With every patient we treated. Okay. And you'll have to let me finish because I know <laughs> you're anticipating my question. No, I'm not. Okay. But that's okay. All right. Um, so you saw, do you know the doctor's name? No. no. Okay. So you no. personally observed her collecting data. You heard Hassan Nazari present orally the data. Correct. Um, you've never seen a report regarding the data? No. Okay. Except uh, the proposals, but no, no results. Okay. And when you say proposals, you're talking... Right here. Okay. Um, That's one. Okay, that was an example that you gave me. That example. The, no, I mean, it's very basic. It doesn't need uh, much of intelligence, okay? Uh, any, even attorneys can tell you that 
you have to stick to the format of the proposal. What I mean by that, I wanted the, the proposals indicated that patients will be grouped where they were grouped. Uh, patient, there should be a measurement of gingivitis one week, two weeks, four weeks, then one month, et cetera, et cetera. I expect to see that in these paragraphs, okay? I expect to see the date of implant placement surgically. I expect to see when the temporary provisional was placed, same day, of course. But the most important, the time between temporary or provisional and final restoration. Because if we do not do the final within four weeks, the implant is good, it's taken. And if we don't put the final in a kind of appropriate time, four to six weeks, and just let the temporary, temporary attract bacteria, could attract inflammation. As a matter of fact, I noticed with interest here, a lot of interest to me, that some patients develop fistulas. And these fistulas mean little gum boils. And all of these fistulas resolved after cleaning, which means they were caused by cement from the provisional. However, I cannot claim that unless I see a date when the temporary was placed. Okay, that is lacking. So is lacking uh, the, the analysis of, uh, you know, I already have two years here. I have data actually, I was just tabulating, you know, I have only two patients 11 months. Everybody else is more than almost the average. The mean, uh, I would say the mean will be uh, easy. 15 to 16 months, a year and a half data. So, uh, again, I needed this information as, as somebody who's very much interested in this uh, data. Um, Let me ask you this. The tabulation that you did was only with regard to the January 25th, 1999 report, correct? Right. Okay, right. you did not do that no. similar No, analysis. I didn't have it. Okay. But, however, I want to tell you, you asked me.